Hi, this is Andrew Grease from Quality Equipment and SprayQSpray.com with the next in the series of stupid shit techs do that costs your pest and landscape company money. Today's session is called Ready, Fire, Aim, and you'll see why in a minute, but basically we're going to talk about how it's so important to keep your vehicle clean and safe. So here's some examples. This was a termite rig that came in absolutely covered in termiticide. The black stuff is termiticide. Here's a weed sprayer that came in covered with uh, herbicide or pre-emergent. And why is it so important to keep your vehicle clean? Well, let's talk about that. Ready, aim, fire. You'll see why this is the fire. This was a sprayer that a company asked us to take a look at. And it was a dual tank, dual reel sprayer. And the entire thing caught on fire and burned and melted. It was total, total loss. And you can see the bands there, the steel bands, where the tanks used to be. And I'll show you some more photos here. Here's a, a melted tank and... The side of the truck is all burned. Here's the tailgate. Even the tailgate burned. You can see the motors burned. And here's what a melted tank looks like. And what happened, the tech claimed he was driving down the freeway and someone in a neighboring truck flicked a cigarette butt at his vehicle, went in the back of his truck and caught his sprayer on fire and melted everything. And obviously that's a load of malarkey. I think what happened here was the truck was filthy with gasoline, or perhaps some chemicals that were solvent-based, uh, solvent-based pesticide or solvent-based herbicide. The tech was smoking a cigarette, flicked a cigarette in the back of the truck, got in the truck, drove off, and then eventually the smoldering cigarette caught fire and burned the entire sprayer. Now, this could have been a lot worse. No one went to jail, and no tickets were issued. The cops did not show up. The fire department showed up, so they got away with one here. And uh, they actually asked us if we would repair this sprayer. We said we'd build them a new one, but I didn't really want my guys touching this equipment. Who the heck knows what kind of chemicals were on it. So we didn't get this job, but that's probably okay. So clearly uh, keeping your vehicle clean and safe is absolutely critical. Uh, don't do what this guy did. This could have been a huge, huge problem for this company. Could have been a huge lawsuit. Could have been huge fines. They got away with one here. So what are the key lessons here? One, of course, train your people. Number two, keep your equipment clean. Number three, just because you train Joe on day one doesn't mean he's still trained. You got to keep training your guys. And number four, do inspections. You know, this truck had to be filthy for it to catch fire like this. And someone should have caught that and not uh, let it get that bad. So thanks so much for watching. If you thought this was helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can hit that little red subscribe button at the bottom right under the video. And once you do that, if you'll click the little bell, then... Every time we post a new stupid shit video, you'll be notified. So thanks so much for watching. We appreciate it. And if you think this had value, then please think about Q-Spray the next time you need equipment for your pest or landscape business. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.